Hello, how are you today? Um, I want to talk about um, normally fish farming. Today uh, I want to talk about uh, particularly draining your water when you stock fingerlings, post fingerlings or juvenile. Some people say um, it is okay to change water after every three days. Um, these people of this kind of um, method have lost a lot of fishes when they become a little bit careless with this style. Um, some are asking me if um, like the bigger fishes you know the smaller fishes also should um, enjoy a daily change of water you know whether fish is small or big it needs clean water water is supposed to be properly oxygenated for the fishes to um, thrive the pH level is supposed to be very good for them to be comfortable in the water so small or big it doesn't matter whether the water is you know changed every day so what I'm gonna say is this small fishes are supposed to have a change of water every day also small, by small fishes I mean uh, fingerlings post fingerlings or fries even fries we have a, a flow through system where water is flowing out and water is being put into the tank continuously so that the water will be fresh looking very good you know so uh, i'm going to take you to um my tank right now and i'm going to explain certain intricacies certain things to you uh, concerning changing of water when it comes to little fishes so let's go down there it's going to be a little bit dark but we're, we're going to manage it um now this is what it is look at it i hope you can see it these are um, post fingerlings going to um, you know going to juvenile they're they're stepping into juvenile right now um, if you look at the tank there are many in the tank this is a six by four tank this also will address certain questions that people ask me how many fishes when they are fingerling should I put in a tank in this six by four tank um, I have about uh, close to close to about 10,000 pieces of fishes here <laughs> you know they were stopped when they were five weeks old you know so um, when they are smaller you can stock a lot in a tank like this but as they grow you begin to take them out until you bring them up to a reasonable size that the tank can contain so let's go back to um, draining of water as you can see I'm draining, draining water right now in this tank and this is how it has been ever since I stopped daily the water is drained to give them fresh water look at the water properly you discover that it is clean when you look at it but looking at it and it is clean doesn't necessarily mean that it is clean you know so don't let the cleanliness of the surface of the water deceive you change it now listen to this more especially when you have a lot stocked like this in a tank I said there are about 10,000 pieces here. There's no way I can afford not to change water every day. Because as many as they are here, they will need a lot of oxygen. So the water needs to be oxygenated all the time. You understand what I'm saying? Take for instance, um, you stock about, you know, a thousand or 500 pieces in the six by four tank. Then you can afford to change your water after every two days. I'm not comfortable with the after every three days thing, you know. But you can afford to change your water after every two days if you stock say about 500 
or 1,000 pieces of fishes in this 6x4 tank that I have stocked about 10,000 pieces. The lesser they are, the slower the ox oxygen in the water burns out and filth or death, you know, you know, it gets into the water. So you can afford to do a two days thing. But when they are this much, you can't afford to do a two days thing. You must do it daily. So you understand what it is now. Fewer, okay, you can risk um, changing water every two days when they are at this stage, you know. But when they are a lot like this, you cannot afford to change water every two days. You must change water after every day. You must change water daily. And then you feed them sparingly, little, little, not much. Because the lesser the feed, the more the protein content, and it kills them if it is much. It pollutes the water, you know. And you have a lot of uh, mortality rate, you know. Because a lot of feed that is dissolved in the water that they did not eat will deplete the oxygen in the water so that's what it is for changing of water i hope you understand it very well okay for those of you who have been a little bit confused about um, the whole thing so that's what it is okay now this can help you in your in your changing of water with your little um, little fishes that is um the uh fingerlings post fingerlings and joanna thank you for listening my name is Mr. Greg. I'll talk to you some other time.